just finished getting out of the shower. Adam helped blow dry my hair and then I curled it since I'm not going to be able to shower I think for 48 hours after surgery. Um, so I just wanted to have my hair clean when I go in. Um, but I just picked out what I'm going to wear um, to go get surgery. I just have some flare leggings and a zip up hoodie. They said to make sure you have something like easy to throw on on top. So I thought that would be perfect. Some slides. And then I am about to go through like my post uh, pre-op instructions just to make sure I'm not going to miss anything. And then I'm probably going to go to bed early tonight because I have to wake up at 4.45 in the morning. I have to be there at 4.45 in the morning. So I have to wake up at like 4.30. To bring a I'm just gonna put this in my purse a COVID test to do when I get there I have an at-home one so I'm just gonna bring this and then the nurse can do it for me before my surgery so I almost forgot that and then it also says to bring like cozy socks with your sandals so I bring So these are the procedures that I'm getting done. I explained this on Instagram, but I have to get lipo on my left breast because it's a completely different cup size than my right one. Um, so they're lipoing my left breast. They're doing a donut mastopexy. Is that how you say that? Um, basically a lift and then the augmentation. So I'm getting implants. Um, under the muscle, a lift, and then lipo on my left breast. Okay, I just got here. I'm about to change into my gown. And get ready. Hey everybody, it's surgery day, Tara is in surgery right now.
I am going to get in the Uber so I can go pick her up because she has the car and I have to drive her home. So let's go find her. She's happy and not uh, sore, but probably is. But let's go get her. All right, just got here. Um, I gotta go around the, th the back of the building to ring doorbell so that I can hopefully go get her. Um, they didn't want me to come in there too early because of COVID crap or whatever. So I've been just waiting here and she called me and she was a little loopy, but I'm gonna go get her right now. Got him there from the doctor. She's uh, a little loopy, obviously. Sorry for the wind. She, of course, wants smoothie king, so I'm gonna get her a smoothie. I've never actually had this one myself, so she wants an angel food smoothie or something. So that's what I get. Tara's in bed. <sighs> hope she hope she gets some sleep. Cause she's in a lot of pain right now, obviously. And then she's just getting off anesthesia. So I don't know if any of you all have ever been on that, but you like get really cold and like really shaky because your muscles are kind of just like warm, uh, waking up again. So she's kind of shaking quite a bit, which is kind of sad to see. But um, I'm just happy that she's okay and that she's she's home safe. So. Hey there, what are you doing? Are you eating a bow? Eat up that. Tater's so big. It's insane. What happened to you? What happened to you? What? Enough with the ball. Give it a break. I love you. All right, folks. It's uh, 4.30. Tater daughters. She's so big, look at her. So it's 4.30, Tara, Tara got back at 10.30, went to bed, woke up for a little bit to eat some, some food, and then um, she went back to sleep. She's been sleeping for a while. Uh, I gotta go get Grayson. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> so I gotta go get Grayson and uh, just get everybody home. I don't wanna leave her here by herself, but I don't really have a choice. Unfortunately, can I have it? No. So yeah, that's the plan. She's she's doing okay, I guess. She said her pain was about a six. Uh, she said it hurts to breathe, which is, I mean, kind of part of life, I guess. But I guess when she breathes out, stretches all the uh, incisions in the that area. So that's unfortunate, and it also hurts when she moves her arms, which makes sense too. So. I feel really bad. I don't like seeing her like this because she's usually a really strong person. So I'm just trying to take it one hour at a time and I hope she gets to feeling better because I miss her. I miss her um, cute little self. <laughs> and uh, Tatum does too, so. We're home. Say yay. Tatum. Yay. Yay. How you feeling? Stormy. <laughs> You kind of look like, what's her name, Kendall or whatever? I'm Kylie? I'm uploading Instagram because I haven't been on Instagram since like 6 o'clock this morning. Your face is like pasty white, I which know. I don't know what that means. I feel really good right now. Just really tired. I slept all day long. Um, Adam got me lunch and I like ate half of the sandwich and some of the smoothie and I went right back to bed until like 10 minutes ago when I woke up and then I had to go to the bathroom and... Now I'm back in bed. Missed ya. I was just so tired. You're so loopy. I was so loopy? Mm hmm Yeah, when I first got out. Just I don't remember anything from them wheeling me into the OR, and then they changed me 
changed my bed. Um, I had to hop into a different bed. And then I remember them like repositioning my blankets. And then nothing. Was your IV in you already? The anesthesia in. Oh, really? It's IV already they in you? They put something in my IV before to like calm me down. Yeah. I don't remember them putting the IV or the anesthesia in. So weird. That was like what I was really scared about. You called me and you're like, I think I gave them the wrong number. And I'm thinking to myself. I called you? You just called me. <laughs> you called me when you got done. I did? Yeah. I did? Yeah. And I you're like, babe. That. No, that was while well, you were on the phone. And then you're like, I think I gave them the wrong number. And I'm like. You just called me. <laughs> oh, well, when I was filling it out in the in the lobby before I got back to pre-op, I was like, I really hope this is the right number because I was like con confusing the two numbers. Yeah. <laughs> so that was probably like stuck in my head, and I like said that when I got out. But my pain level when I'm laying down is like four to ten, but when I'm walking, it's like that's six. good. Yeah. Be gentle. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Grandma's gonna be here. No, Grandma might come in. I just asked. And then Abba's coming too, I think. And Stella. I remember we said we, they were coming. Okay, it's the next day. It's a little bit later in the day. It's like 1 o'clock. I've been sleeping all night, all day. Um, that's when I'm the most comfortable. And I'm just trying to listen to my body. Every time I stand up, um, the pain is it shoots from like a four to a seven when I stand up and I'm on my feet. Um, <clears throat> but Adam has been the best nurse. He's looking at all my post-op paperwork. We have my post-op um, appointment in like an hour. So I'm up, I changed into a zip up jacket and some sweats so we're about to head out here in just a little bit i'll take you guys with me to see how everything's looking hopefully everything is healing okay i haven't really seen what they look like yet because they're all bandaged up so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to take some of that off today or not but i'll let you guys know um so that's the update for now i got to see all the kids yesterday um when i woke up and just explained to them what's been going on the big girls obviously understand grace and tatum have no idea um but we do have our nanny here monday through friday who helps with tatum um and then grace and bailey and shay are at school during the day for most of the day so that's obviously been very helpful having them at school um and then having our nanny here helping with tatum and adam now works from home so we have all hands on deck and it's been pretty smooth sailing from here but adam has been the best little caregiver he's on top of everything with my meds making sure i'm drinking Miralax to keep myself regular drinking lots of water getting up and moving around when i can um so so grateful for him he's the best thank you love you babe Okay, we just got out of my post-op and we couldn't really film in there obviously because they took my dressings off and they just changed them so I just have to change on my left side since they only did the lift on the left um, but everything looks really good um, there the left side still looks a little bit more swollen um, just because they did the lipo on that side too the right side looks great um, but they're healing really well she said I had like very minimal drainage yeah. so, so I like probably can, won't. don't have to put the pads on for much longer yeah they sent me home with some gauze and tape to change my dressings once a day but she said I probably won't have to do that for more than like one or two days yeah. I can start showering tomorrow morning you yeah. have to get the stuff the iodine off of her chest because it's like making her chest break yeah, out really bad this. it's like show the shoulder oh, you can't <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah it's like really red and blotchy I have like a huge rash um, clearly allergic to iodine and um, adhesive tape which we found out when I had um, babies that I'm allergic to adhesive and I think they'd use iodine on my back for when I did um, my yeah. epidurals too. Yeah, That's probably. That's probably what it was from, but we had no idea, but now we know. Um, but she said I can just take Benadryl for that because it's kind of itchy, but that should go away soon. But we're gonna head home and probably just rest for the rest of the day, but I'm feeling good, um, happy with everything. And I have another appointment on Friday. What's Friday's appointment for? Just like another follow-up. You follow -up? speak with the doctor. Yeah, I speak with. Um, it's probably gonna look. Stuff. It's probably gonna look at your um, steri strips. They're called. They're they're or they cut around her areola. They put these little steri strip things on. I think. I think you'll look at those. Looking good. 